So jumping in with Bitcoin on the three day chart right now, we can see not much has really changed to be honest. You know, everything seems to be pretty much about the same as it was yesterday. And that's in a way a good sign because it shows we haven't seen any more bearish pressure and things are being kind of held up. Uh, bulls are slightly fighting back now. But that also being said, it means we are also not seeing any big bullish pressure. So it could go, of course, either way. If we go to our daily chart, we can see we still have our levels from yesterday's episode all mapped out here we've got the uh, 33,000 up to the 35,000 and the 36,000 up to the 39,000 those are two buy levels potentially but I'm only going to be buying from them if we see price kind of break out on a lower time frame such as the 30 minute or the one hour and give us that extra confirmation um, so guys if you aren't already following us every single day for this daily Bitcoin update make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video as well let us also know in the comments are you shorting Bitcoin right now or are you longing Bitcoin right now really interested to know really good to see a kind of that uh, variation in the comments of who's shorting who's longing etc etc so we can also see that we are still sticking with the trend line and as i said in yesterday's video we do want to be careful about this trend line because it's a very obvious trend line um, and that usually means institutions will be seeing this as well and they may take price lower into these levels of demand therefore to uh, then start buying from there so we may see price being taken lower to take out people that are buying this trend line uh, just for it to come into this area here or this area here before going higher now of course there is still our level of demand and support down below at around that 31 to 29 thousand dollar range however that is just something there in the future if price does come down to it i'd expect a big bounce from uh, but that being said, I think right now we are still looking pretty bullish on this uh, daily chart. We can also see if we bring up our indicators. And again, guys, most things are the same as yesterday. So there's not any major, major updates, but we are still in the buy zone for uh, for our pivot point super trend indicator. We can bring on our EMAs as well. And we can see that we may have a chance at crossing above the 50 soon if we can get some more bullish pressure to bounce from this area here. However, right now we'll be focusing on the more short term and on the short term, we can see the four hour things are looking a little bit bearish. We are seeing a potential decrease in price due to, um, you know, the, the overlap of the 20 and the 50 EMA over the 200 EMA. And then if we go to the one hour, you can see we've been below that for a while. Um, and we are starting to consolidate here so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with price but again i do still stand by i think price will come a little bit lower uh, at least kind of a thousand dollars lower and uh, then therefore we might see a nice rise from there if we look for a break of structure we're not really seeing any major breaks uh, on this one hour chart so there's nothing telling me that price is going to move up from here yet if we do see a move above that forty one thousand dollar level however i'll most likely be changing that bias um, but we'll just have to wait and see now, guys, if you're interested in trading Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, you can check out Bybit. There's a link down in the description. You can get up to $4,100 for free by using that link, as well as 30% off your trading fees uh, if you meet all the deposit requirements. So definitely check that out if you're interested in trading. And of course, we have the course down below, as well as loads of free trading tutorials on the channel if you're interested. So since there's not much else to say with Bitcoin, just to make the video a little bit longer for you guys, give you a little bit more content, uh, I will be checking out Ethereum as well. And let me know if this is something you'd like me to do in more uh, update videos. Do you want me to check out Ethereum as well as Bitcoin? coin um, because of course i'm happy to analyze whatever but with the daily for ethereum right now we can see we've hit this major level of resistance which was pretty obvious based on uh, that level of supply that had formed uh, on the three day then we can move down to the four hour we saw this break of structure here again nothing too crazy here and we saw a, a nice retest of this this was a pretty good short trade opportunity from 3180 i would have targeted probably the lows here around 2829 and then uh, we are coming into some serious levels of demand here, which is really good to see because that means this will most likely give us a nice raise in price and maybe maybe take us back up to that 3000 plus level, which is something I know a lot of us Ethereum holders are hoping for. Now, if we take a look on the daily chart as well, um, we do have, like I said, that level of demand being held. And there is that lower one here between, uh, you know, 1700 and 2000, basically, which is that equivalent of Bitcoin, that last chance level where if price was to have a massive drop out of nowhere, that would be the level I'd expect things to rise from. So that's a quick update there for you on Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing Ethereum as well. And also, are you longing and shorting right now with crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever? And uh, like I said, make sure you check out all the relevant links. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more if you do want to see more content from us. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.